one has clicked on the ready up button. So we'll start pretty quickly on this. Indeed. And we shall be going into Faux Fire. So first map uh, match. I didn't forget to put the points into the overlay. It's the first match. So <laughs> this people are going to be well confused. <laughs> yeah, first match on Legacy of the Four Fire made a meta against TCG. So how are the splits going? At the moment, we're going to see Rom going in for, for a cross on towards the quarry, going in for a probably one v two versus Infamous Shaku and also Tamir. We're going to see a red, all of the red, the rest of the red team free members going into mid with Lord Helsef and Sizer being kind of wary on the side with Tage just taking any damage point. Having a quite a, an interesting fight at the mid, actually, which, is, which looks like it's starting to move over towards the and mid now. I'm really wants to go in. Now we have a first point of aggression on Rom there. Zani took some damage already. Sizer engaged on him, bringing him down. But two people are potentially there to rest. Sizer uh, just going off a bit to maybe uh, be in range for a decap. No, back into the mid fight. We now have a focus on Sammy there nicely separated him from the rest of the team but no downstates yet to report no damage whatsoever at the moment we see Azani again now the focus starts to happen Sizer found his found his Mesmer to take down stealth stomp immediately but last oh. second knockback there Azani actually Mesmer ability around the obstacle so, so pretty lucky. much as perfect as it could yeah. have gone that, that but that res bubble was awesome as well. Just knocking him as that straight off. The timing was so good. Look at Helsef. Look how low Helsef is on HP. Coming back through that portal, putting down the chaos storm just a bit before like he came in. That was quite good as well. But Lord Helsef getting cleaved down. I think well, he's gonna just get out of this. Added. The res is, is feared. We have Rom still on it. Are they in both Successful invisible? Rom is invisible. Res. That took quite some time, and especially judging from the games we saw earlier, MIM almost no pressure on that corpse. The damage that is coming out from from uh, Zani actually onto Sizer. Now he did. I do believe that he used the torch um, five. Uh, he's, he is running torch. I'll just double check this. Yeah, he oh, did. Sizer yeah. actually survived that for quite a while, but Red Level wow. is there to pick him off instant rally because we have the stomp on Azani down in the fight on the middle of the point. Now Famous Shaku pulled off to make sure nobody gets any aggression ideas, but still Rom and Sizer are just pulling through. Shaku might have have some trouble actually matching up against both of them are they gonna sacrifice no midpoint we still have red 11 red 11 going down semi can't really put a rest there but he's trying he is trying you've got to try try further there be a hero you can do it red 11 is gonna go down infamous shaku really having some problems over here on the quarry could probably actually just rotate off a node a little bit doesn't need to just keep standing there but Ron's gonna apply Azani the pressure after respawn going for the decap on the waterfall which is currently Got completely it. left alone by tcg and maybe actually getting the cap there taking quite yeah. a while probably oh, beneficial if he has... just does do that actually to be honest where Sizer not gone in mid to clear that up, of course, the midpoint very big, a very large capture point. So if you have it, uh, we've seen matches where it didn't go to any team for the entire game. So if you manage to get it quickly, then you're not going to lose it for quite a while. Double down state now in mid. Yeah, Sizer's going to be resting. We have some damage on Sammy. Sammy also being rest. So both back up and we have the double outer point cape. Uh, Cap, not cape. Four made a meta <laughs> at the moment. Azani you doing get a, a special good job. For the Duke. Azani doing a good job in the 1v1 against Taxby. Yeah, some nice damage. He got a lot of burst down onto him. Helsus has to come over to help Taxby because he will go down. Yeah. Zani's going to choose to leave. Disengage with... portal, but the shed has too much. Sizer oh, also there to Sizer. catch him while he's walking. Now just. Yeah, well, leave, it, leave, it, leave him to bleed. Leave him to bleed. Indeed, indeed. Red Levin actually just stealthing just off node. Hopefully, he's going to get some surprise onto anyone coming back into this point. Wondering if he's going to be going for Helsef. Think he's possibly going for that target. Helsef is a little bit on his own on the other side of the node. Have a looking at Red Levin. Wondering whose who's target is going to be as Tamir goes down. Red Levin needs to get involved right now if he's going to come into this. And well, Tamir is back Shaku up indeed. having to fight against a DK, but is. Really quick, good reaction there from uh, negating that decap attempt from Sizer. Now the damage is back on Red 11. Really, these squishy targets are just chasing each other from second <coughs> to second. Stomp is coming out, but we, of course, have the port of the 
Thief. Now second one, the damage is just going to be enough. Tage didn't even have to bother with the stomp there. Azani now positioned himself for a possible burst on somebody, but he can't really find a target. Sizer is supposed to be the point of engagement there, but he's pulling out already. Or TCG. engaging on Azani. <laughs> they are going to sl slowly pull these back points back as well, because Lord House did get that decap and on on the quarry, of course, and is now trying to take him from a Shaku down as soon as possible. And from a sh uh, he's using that cart very well, actually, just this line of sight House for a little tad as well, and applying that pressure on the node. House is going to have to keep coming off the point, but it is currently decap with Rom coming in as well. That's nice support to take Shaku out very quickly. Now, made a meta before did start advancing to. Towards the waterfall, which might be a nice idea, we but they are taking the advantage oh, of mid. Oh, barely Sizer died down. off point now, immediately using the vapor form to get back on point and delay the cap a bit. But now we're going to have it turned around and TCG taking the double outer point cap. While, of course, Maiden Meta now looking good with the uh, with more manpower in the midpoint, trying to take Tage out, who is just jumping all over the place. You're trying to use a nice line of sight. To negate some damage instead of abilities and it's paying off do we actually see the shield of the avenger in use now i almost forgot about that um oh, it has it? it has been used it's just it's the commander but it hasn't come off like it's just in front of him at the moment you can just see it. it's quite small so you can't see it massively but it's helping a lot especially if he's going to go for like things like downs and whatnot and if he's going to go for reses it's going to be very useful in on those occasions as well so he hasn't really changed his build much in this second game which is nice to see so this could be you know it's a nice new change up liking the virtues still love the virtues as part of a guardian build very very strong surprised they haven't been used as much um up until now but you know over again over at the quarry we oh, see no. him from a shaku really, we might get that cap no, nice rotation between Rom and uh, Helsef there. Helsef, of course, having to get off the node at different points in time. is currently the one that is left to defend mid Taxby went back up to his little cliff to just chuck his grenades in and be a nuisance that way. But the stealth comes out. Sizer back up with a nice and coordinated rest from two people. Yeah, fantastic job there from trying to get out there. And the res was just really, really, really fast. And then Sizer's just reversed it, flipped it back onto Red Levin, taking him down just off the side node. The res down is going to come out from Tage. I think, yes, oh, successful. Oh, no, he did. Oh, I thought he actually got up there for a second. Man, my eyes are betraying me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> But they're still with the decap over on the quarry node. TCG have acquired quite a large lead. No one from made a meta going for that decap on the waterfall, which is oh, quite surprising. Sammy managed to take out the guy, but the rest is through. Or was it? I think it was actually the rest spirit on that occasion. Now they now they're doing what I think they're supposed to do. We had another rotation. Now it's Rom against the famous Shark Red Eleven. Now engaging after the respawn back on Rom, putting some nice pressure. And Rom is just going away, and that is how it's supposed to be. Now they can actually take a point and stop TCG from gaining more and more of a lead. And how did Tommy get through there? Was it stealth? <laughs> I don't think so. I think he should probably just escape. There's so much focus now. That's really, really good. But look at how many TCG members are able to flip over here because oh. they've got those kills over on the mid and elsewhere on the map. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Not able to get yeah, the cap at Red all. Red Levin is the only one currently left it, in the midpoint. No point. Shaku might go <laughs> on point to actually defend a Shaku. No, what is Shaku doing? He decides, yeah, he decides to rather have an eye on his own close point. Or not have an eye on us on club front because we have no aggression on that at the moment. Shaku now back on the midpoint to keep it neutral. Are we going to see Scyther there? No, we have a portal, so Azani can also focus his pressure on the midpoint. Look how long Thomas uh, survived against over there on the waterfall. Really nice. But that portal means that they can get back to mid as soon as possible. Tage over there as well. And they can re-engage four people onto that mid cap already and even push them back into any kind of... Uh, oh, so are now in this. Maybe like going for the DK. Oh, when again. are they going to notice? Oh, Shaku. Shaku did feel it, I think. Too no. late, though. Way too late, getting the decap again. Oh, and the portal, just <sighs> a tiny bit too late. That's too often the case. Instant mower there because the first couple <laughs> of hits put Azani into some trouble. So one big cooldown to potentially kill a bunker there. Immediately used. I think Sizer might re-engage. He wants that yeah, matchup. Yeah, definitely. But definitely. couldn't do anything against the cap. 
Oh no, we're going to see Gizzy Time coming in as well. Now this is what they needed to do before when there was one member of the Blue the Red team over on that quarry. They needed to back them up and try to engage in that 2v2 and keep two people out of the mid so they could potentially put the pressure on elsewhere we had and go for those mini die decaps. completely off point in mid fight, so maybe a quick advantage here for Mate and Meta. Let's see if they can make something of that. What is the current focus side? If we want to look for a focus target, we should probably have Asani. So Rom in target and not really that much of burst coming. Saiza immediately going right into the enemy uh, enemy front and actually managing to disengage again because Shaku is too scared to leave the close point alone and that is a good idea because Helseth after the respawn wanted to go for that and maybe also force the 1v1 on Quarry. I think so at the moment. I mean, Shaku should, might be okay here actually on this point. I'm not sure with the point and actually fully in their favor. Yeah, there's not much point in the yeah. oh, no, kind the of portal. engage there. Yeah, he, just coming back the again. The portal has him uh, kind of having to stay there. Exactly, yeah. That, and that's what's so nice about Portal. It's just like, oh god, I've got to stay here now. I can't get engaged in that fight and they're 4v5. What can I do to help? I can't do anything because you can just nip back, get the decap and... Hosef going down just on mid. Everyone, look at TCG rallying around. The SI comes out fast res. Easy. Again, doing that. The res is like just that spot that wasn't even guys. necessary. We had another refuge yeah, Probably. Res, uh... <laughs> a couple of seconds before still no mid cap but just due to the long and really hurting uh, double out of point cap we had from tcg they have still got a 100 point lead and now they are above 350 which means tcg could end it all with the lord rush I just, uh, just as Helsef was just on top, Azani came up from behind, did a massive shatter on him. He was immobilized as well, and he did a nice blink just oh, onto the floor there. Down stage really good shot of MIM. Am. Azani going down. Chaku tries to res, but he has to take care of the possible <laughs> decap from Rom, who's walking towards the quarry. Another kind of pressure he's applying there. Sammy still in mid. Red 11 trying to take out Helsef. Now we have a 2v1. Saiza and Rom are going to make quick work of Shaku as it looks. It's just a lot of CC and pressure that he's got there. Over on the court again, Shaku's in this 1v2 situation. Why is no one helping? I know they want to try and keep mid and like contestants as it is, but they need to send someone over there to help him because he's just had to go into vapor form. Oh, They've lost the, the node form, almost with one tick. To make it... no, no, not quite long enough. The stomp was fast enough to get the last tick off the cab. And now the lead is really looking pretty strong from the side of TCG. Sammy also in a bit of trouble currently just having a 1v1 with Tage because we <laughs> had Azani again being as sneaky as he is and getting the decap on the waterfall. Cap is not going to happen because we have Hellsoth as well as Taxby going for him and would he be able to pull out? No, he... Oh no, we, did we have a disconnect or was it just a respawn? No, 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 no just, just respawn. A respawn. Okay. Yeah. Was scared there for a moment. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, they would win. Absolutely, there's no word we stop that. <laughs> Made in middle, it just unfortunately now. Uh, Zani going down just on the way to the midpoint as well. Not looking too good for Made in Mirror at the moment. 430 to 287. Possibility, tiny slight chance if they could get the waterfall, of course, and get to 350 with a Lord oh. Rush as well. Oh, no, they managed know. to actually get with a quick burst from it. 11 on the heels of Lord Hillsnap, but Tage is ready to rest and just the pressure from the leftover clones and illusions. Uh, in combination with Tax we brought 11 down. Tami again on the point. They We are not going to have a cap midpoint in this entire game. But it doesn't matter because <laughs> we have the lead for TCG and at the moment now with Shaku uh, in downstate, actually the double out upon cap even though my UI is bugging again. Yeah, this is indeed TCG's game. Very, very, very nice. Um, I mean, it was up, up to about, again, like eight or nine minutes in. It was fairly close. And then it just flipped. It's around those that time that the game just starts to change in recent weeks. And it's been quite... It's nicer to see some uh, closer faux fires, that's for sure. But, pardon me. I mean, TCG have been playing a, a top-notch game, you know. I mean, they've been up on their resing has been fantastic. Their rotations just outnumbering on points to get the fast kills so that they can rotate back to where they need to go. And that's pretty much just how they won it. They won the team fights. They rotated well. That's it. Getting to <laughs> Simple as that. You want to go. True, true <laughs> words have never been spoken. That's, so TCG picks up the first game in this best of three. Now, what are we going to do? I think the best <laughs> thing would be to have 
Niflhel <laughs> next. So there isn't any kind of advantage uh, concerning Kylo before actually going into a third match. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. That, that is, <laughs> I think, the fairest way, fairest we, way we to are, deal with We it. are doing this by ear <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, Forrest now. I, I think that's the proper solution. I I might assume that uh, we have slight tendencies towards Kylo from the side of MIM just because they make use of the trebuchet so well. So they might hope for a bit of an advantage on if that map would be the first one but we, we, we don't want to uh, we don't want to screw with the rotation here no not too much because yeah especially in the final at least we if we play those two games then we've we've covered our bums yeah and uh yeah so we get we'll be on to there's really in the moment, no, no real disadvantage to switching up the first two matches the first two maps i don't think so either. i think we're fine tonight's cup has gone on a little bit longer than normal guys but on, because we, we went to two three v3s and a couple of disconnects yeah, yeah but we will be bringing you the next game we got we were okay in the last one as well so we will be fine for the next one as well thank you very much guys again i will do a gem giveaway at the end of this stream so after the um next game or the game after depending on who wins of course uh you must be following the channel to follow the channel you click the purple button underneath the player where we are currently talking on the left hand side follow the stream you will have a chance to win 800 gems yeah. so remember end. follow gems <laughs> the two key words in there i had a couple uh, of requests to, to show some builds again oh wait let me go in completely in game well i wanted to show brom's build but i actually don't have him on the map yet so we'll take the nice build overlay and just switch through a couple but don't really talk about them indeed it's fine. Absolutely fine. So, potentially the last map of today's uh, ESL Weekly Cup, unless Made in Matter can come back, of course. We have got, gone for a slight rotation change. Uh, if you are working on this, uh, if you are watching this on the VOD, or if you are watching it on Twitch at the moment, of course, and have just come in. Um, yeah, looking forward to this game. We've had some awesome uh, teams in tonight. We've had Predator Esports, of course, Made in Meta, TCG, and 55 HP Monks, and everyone else who has taken part as well, including Node. Some great players that we've seen tonight. And uh, thank you, everyone, for coming uh, to watch the stream and for taking part. And we are just waiting for some players to get ready. Yeah, and all get five it. players from each team da, 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 da. are in there. Of course, some experimental builds here with the Shield of the Adventure of the Avenger from Tage. Well, Rom is kind of all over the place with his bowlers. Which are entertaining as hell. And also a four second demobilize is nothing to to complain about, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's very awesome. Let's go into the potentially last game of the ESL uh, so Weekly Cup number 46, everyone. If TCG gets this one, it wasn't uh, too clear to really uh, say Made in Meta doesn't have a chance anymore. They have a chance. And maybe we are going to see them equaling the score. Currently 1-0 to zero for TCG Made in Meta on the red side. Well, it's TCG. Let's have a look at the splits. Oh, Incisor, again? Again. Already not learning from that mistake before. Oh, wow. Amazing burst coming out there from uh, Azani. Absolutely insane. And maybe it they can, down and out. And maybe they can be some trouble for Texby as well. Already had to use his Elixir S. So really the pressure right out of the gate. Not waiting to get That's to any so points. Just to pick down off. State. Second person picked off. We now have a 3v5 on the map. But not to disconnect. Just due to nicely coordinated burst damage right off the bat. Now the aggression is coming. Red 11, of course, has to deal with the respawning Sizer. And also, uh, how, how it was over there? Did he portal back yeah. over to the mid? Yes, he did indeed. So while uh, Sizer was going to engage in that 1v1. So the midpoint, they need to take advantage of this as soon as they possibly can. Now, I do like the counter push that Rom did over towards the mine node. Really, really nice job to apply that pressure elsewhere so that he couldn't back up the mid as well. So now we've got... It's kind of getting a bit even now at the mid cap. I mean, Red Levin was going for that 1v1 on this other node and the same over on the mine. So now we've got that 3v3 happening. 
happening. And we're going to see Red Living coming back into the mid, just on the back of Rom as he comes onto the keep. And apparently, I don't know what Azani may be on his way there to. No, j just want, wants to kind of uh, have the rest of the TCG team forget he's even there and make a good engage happening because there is the real potential for just an instant burst. Focusing Elsef over up up top because he knows he's getting a lot of free casts off at the moment. And he's able to apply that pressure, so Elsef does have to come out and to just line of sight at different points in time. But he's doing the same back to Azani as well, which is quite nice to see. And I do believe we're getting a decap oh. over on the hinge. Yeah, Shaku made his way over there from the just back point defending, and we have an off point fight. Taxby and no, not quite. Azani pulled back out with eleven. Oh, just avoiding there, just really low on life, but still in stealth. And Ken now is trying to escape, but we also have Sizer going into his direction. Wait, now, this is a nice move. I'm having a look at this and looking at the side nodes. Now, the, made him are kind of hovering around the mid, not trying to die other than Nazani, who is in the down state at the moment, and just trying to disengage when they possibly can. And it was a really, really nice move from them. But they are probably going to maybe... Oh, no, Tommy got onto the point over on mine just in time. And Infamous Shaku is able to go over towards the Henge to actually um, be okay. And now the we good thing is we, we, we had the engage from TCG on the mine point beef, uh, with two people down. From the team of made a meta but since they engage to the close point uh, to, to the close point of made a meta not their own close point made a meta has the advantage of quickly respawning so they can be just well kind of going all predator esports on them and running into them again and again and again we have also the respawn of tami again he might make it now the decap is going to come through but maybe not the cab in the meanwhile taxby going for the 1v1 against shaku we do see the returning member of Made in Meta coming back. They are winning and we're just going to continue this game now, to be honest, because we've got 5v5 and they are in the lead. So we're not going to have any more delays. No way. Infamous Shuku going down over on the Henge. Texby and Helsef dispensing with him very, very quickly. Going to lose that cap there and also the cap over on the mine, potentially in time as Tamir is 1v1 against Tage at the moment. With Sizer coming into the node as well, able to apply that on point pressure. Is anyone going to be able to help him? He does, of course, have Azani. He actually Ooh. avoided my view there as well. Um, and some, if they can keep this 2v2 up, it'd be quite nice. But size is trying to back out as Rom does come into the node well, as well. He's out there with the pot with 121 <sighs> life. And now... And now they're 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 <laughs> dive from falling pressure? I, uh, no, falling I don't damage? think so. I think oh, no, no otherwise kind of he would be immediately yeah. dead. So yeah, just yeah. some random damage. Didn't quite make it out there alive. Maybe a bit too risky to actually step out of there. But the pressure's back on Rom. Rom seems to kind of be the goal to target but the first initial burst just went into the endure pain there tamir now also having some trouble but the second burst on rom could potentially take him down he's low on cooldown Zazani so again porting out to maybe get the advantage of a sneaky surprise engage there rom pretty high up on life again tage around so the rest could potentially happen Sizer like got the cap in mid back after winning against red 11 i think with the assistance of taxby Solid and then we've got such a massive fight start like this half of the map has just completely got everyone and it's just a bit nuts at the moment rom is has been down health if he's really low on hp able to stuff a tiny bit with some random portals there um everyone's pulling in and out of the point at the moment tage going down i made it matter might be able to actually get some kind of momentum back into the game um and try and get the node but tage is gonna be running out to the point as well they're gonna secure it leaving two members to make sure that they really now do get this 11 they getting the discon uh, disconnect sorry uh, i read too much of that today Oh, really? Did a disconnect happen when I said DC? Yeah, we have another DC. This is kind of getting a bit annoying, but uh, sadly, after the patch, everything has been a bit meh. Let's, let's call it that. But Rom is there to secure the... Well, keeping the decap there and not l just letting MIM have the cap. Now Tami there to assist them. They're going for the outer points again. Famous Shark going down Indeed. on the mine. 
damage. Yeah, and yes. um, Red Living needs to get on point a little bit more, try and get some more caps if he can with Tomir coming in as well. They can 2v1 Rom over on this node, which is a good job for them. Oh no, Red Living going down to St. Cleave there. Rom very low on HP. Is he going to be able to get out of that? Might be able to, getting the res up on Red Levin, taking down Rom just off node. And I think they might be able to get this side oh. two side caps with a four-man team. But Tage, no, Tage gets on point quick enough, but oh. can't really res Rom now because otherwise he would give the cap to MIM. Rom now in vengeance, maybe enough of burst damage, maybe enough of uh, pressure on Tamir for Tage to actually be able to get that. No, it's it's not going to hold on long enough. He has enough defensive cooldowns. Now, size on Refuge. Red Levin should have seen that, and he is now trying to engage. Actually, sneaky decap, really? That's not going to happen. Maybe you thought that Sizer would just go away when he's in stealth. Now immobilized. We have a Thief 1v1 going on in mid. A... Taxby and Shaku battling on the decapped mine and again still Tamir holding on on the hench point. Indeed, he's, doing, he's, he's done a really good job in different situations where he's actually been able to hold against three people to, to the degree that people have actually just pulled out of the node because um, you know, it's just taking too long and they need to keep people on the rest of the map. So that was a nice job from him staying up as long as he did. And we have the legendary Sammy on the on the node as well. That's gonna, he's going to be able to keep it contested for quite a while unless he gets some kind of uh, help. He will die to Rom, of course, with the DPS that he is c currently bashing out into this game. If from a Shaku down over on the mine node, of course, getting some caps on it as everyone kind of nips off the node. <laughs> Texby going to get the full cap over on the mine. Might have a slow free well, cap coming out very shortly. Tamir might make it in time. Is he going to be fast enough? Maybe. Is he even going to try? Yeah, he is going to try it, but he is not going to be fast enough. Nope, not quite. Just one second. Just a tiny bit. Azani now using the portal to part through and have a bit of an element of surprise on Texby. Trying to get that good burst down. Moa comes out immediately to chase him off from the point. Hailseth there to back him up, but I think... Oh, really? Re-engage after Mars Invisibility? That's bold. <laughs> That's what... Bold? We've seen some bloody bold moves what? tonight, mate. I'm not surprised about anything anymore. And it's anymore. working. People Azani down. Yeah, we had three people there, so that's why I said that. Azani instantly down, so nice with the surprise engage there. Picking him back up, no real possibility for Stomp there. And while they keep that decapped up until now, they are still getting a stronger and stronger lead on the side of TCG. Taxby now stomped. Hellseth is down. Now they need to really kind of snowball this. And Sammy's also going down on the Hench, and that means Hench is going to fall back into the hands of TCG. Did and with the two cap coming up against the mine, of course, which is for they've got probably they've still got a chance to come back into this game, and they can get the two cap and maybe even just a one node contest um, to come back with those points, maybe for some potential boss kills. But I don't think they're going to go for that either. Tamir engaging on the mid now as well with uh, sorry. Um, Azani trying to burst town Tage potentially if this, if they could. I'm not sure if Azani's got Mo. He doesn't have that Mo cooldown, and Sizer is on the back end of him trying to get that res fast. Not able to just point it away. Will he be able to get that res? Anyone else coming in? in legendary yes, Sammy is in. On there. The and damage the from Tage good. and Sizer is not quite enough, and actually a bit of. Oh, we've seen Rom being a bit bored apparently but Red Levin using that to not apply the steel but just go for the decap and that of course also denies some points especially with them being only well 73 oh god my math 73 points away from a victory a decap on that point could be really crucial for you at least the chance to come back. And Rom is a little bit squishier in that build. Red Levin could actually win this fight and Texby has bailed on him. So he's actually gone towards the mid and maybe a potential mistake there. Texby is coming back into the node now knowing that that's happened. So they've got the 1v2 over it's on this point. Oh, he's going to try for another burst. And now we have Texby back, almost pulled him. The conditions are applied. Red Levin really has to work to maybe get away from this. No, can't goes down and that's going to be one less player. Sides now currently the one defending on midpoint because Tage is under too much pressure. Side. Doing a good job now. I mean, they've still got these, these contests coming out but you know 
<sighs> Shaku's gone down over on the hinge. Uh, sorry, over on the mine node. Helsef is going to be able to dispense of him. So the two cap coming out for TCG, and I think we're going to see them take this week's ESR Weekly Cup number forty-six, yeah, only mate. Only fifty points away, and well, fifty points to go in a double cap. There's not much Made of Meta can do against Knight. Also, a bit. Now I got to disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> almost almost finished i'm gonna to try to at least get quickly enough in back into the game <laughs> i've i've dc'd as well oh really everyone I, I hope not i hope not but i think we might have been able to call that for tcg let's 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 try and have a look have a look if they are still playing Oh, damn it. Do I have it in my favorites? Yes. I remember the password. Logging in now. Waiting for the... It was literally just load. us. <laughs> it was just us. So we are actually... I am quickly enough back into the game oh, to see to the 500-point no. ticking. <laughs> <Not the better. laughs> okay. We, we we were just just Let's a just second. End it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give TCG because I saw phone ninety nine before I disconnected, so I'm assuming they pulled that through. <laughs> sadly, Epic. sadly another disconnect now to not see the five hundred points. Maybe we almost caught them, but I think we're gonna. Maybe I, I'm gonna make something up. The last oh, okay. point four nine nine. Um. Made a meta came back, storming through out of the gate. Tried to get there, got to 487 points. DCG winning off a boss kill. Svanir, 25 points. That was the end of that game. <laughs> okay. <laughs>